This is the Comica VM30. This is the world's first shotgun microphone that you can use in your camera like a traditional shotgun microphone, or you can go wireless like I have it connected to the FX3 over here. And I can use this like a stick mic like I have it here, or I could pop it up on a boom pole like this. With this type of configuration, I'm able to get a wireless boom. Let's say you're doing a walk and talk interview or something with another camera operator or they're on a gimbal. Well, now I have the opportunity to just throw this up on a boom pole. And then I have the zoom recorder and the receiver right here in my back pocket. So I could just pop this up in the air and I'm off to the race. Hey, what's up guys? Ray Valencia here back with another video and right now you're hearing the sound of the VM30 on top of the Sony FX3. The cool thing about this microphone is it has different controls on it for actually reducing uh, noise like air conditioners or rumbles or things like that. It has two different settings for low cut filters and it has a high frequency boost as well. So you're able to kind of modify your audio right here on the transmitter and on top of that there's also a built-in gain dial so you can adjust it from zero all the way up to a plus 10 gain on the actual microphone and then if you go into the receiver or the wireless mode the receiver has 12 steps of gain that you can use on it so a lot to go over in this video but it's getting pretty hot out here it's like 91 degrees and i'm sweating so let's go find a cool place to go over the features of this microphone all right this seems like a nice shady spot to take a little break and go over what you get with the kit the vm30 has a really nice hard shell zippered case that holds everything in it you have the CVM VM30. That's the full name of this microphone, but we're gonna be calling it the VM30 throughout this video. You have two ways to mount it with this traditional shock mount. If you wanna mount it on top of your camera, you can just pop your mic on there like that. It has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom and a cold shoe if you wanna mount this on top of your camera. And it has a second mic holder. If you wanna use this on a boom pull, it has a 3 8 hole there or you wanna use it on a podcast mic stand and the mic simply just pops on there like this. You also get a traditional foam wind cover that goes over the mic like this and then a secondary wind sock that goes over the foam wind cover. Slides on like this and then you can tighten it down like that. You have two cables for connecting to your smartphone or directly to your camera which I don't know many smartphones that have this old port on it still, but if you do, hey, it's there. Both the transmitter, microphone, and the receiver have an internal battery that lasts for up to seven hours when in wireless mode. Each of the devices has a battery indicator on the screen. They both charge through their USB-C port and can last up to 50 hours when plugged into a computer or wired through your camera. And you have a super long adaptive USB-C cable, which goes from USB-C to USB-A, or you can pop the top off and it goes to USB-C. So you can use this for recharging the devices or you can use it to connect it straight to your computer. You have the wireless receiver, which looks just like the Comica Boom XD series receiver. So if you're familiar with those, you have the power and the mute button and then two gain buttons. On the back, you have your cold shoe adapter that double serves as a belt clip. And then on the top, you have two outputs, one headphone jack and one regular output port. The wireless system works off a traditional 2.4 gigahertz wireless frequency and it can travel up to a distance of 328 feet. All right, so that's everything you get with the VM30 kit. Now let's go over the features of this microphone because there's a lot to go over. And this mic makes a really good podcast or voiceover mic. Not only is it super high quality, but you have the hybrid ports on it so you can use the traditional 3.5 millimeter jack straight into your camera or like like I have it here, switch over to USB-C and plug it straight into the computer. So I just hit record right here on the timeline in Adobe Premiere and now I have broadcast quality audio coming straight into the computer without having to drag or drop any files over. 
the audio quality is really good. It has a 48 hertz sampling rate with a 24 bit depth. So that means really, really high quality audio recordings that you're able to do right here in the timeline. Both the receiver and the transmitter have an internal battery that lasts for up to seven hours in wireless mode and up to 50 hours if you're wired or through USB-C connected to your computer. So it pairs up automatically here and this light will be blue whenever you're in wireless mode and you'll see the little Wi-Fi symbol on the screen. And then whenever you're wired, this light will be green, but the mic automatically turns off and on whenever you connect it wired, whether you're connecting it to your computer or you're connecting it to your camera, it just automatically turns off and on. This is a wireless pairing button or it double serves as a power button if you're not going to be plugging this into anything and this is your different presets and noise reduction so you have 75 hertz 150 hertz and a high frequency boost and then you hold on this for three seconds to enable or disable the safety track mode this little screen on here is really handy. It has little audio meters on it. You can see what your audio bars are even if you're away from the camera. You also have a battery meter on it, which is super helpful. It tells you your wireless mode and then your normal or safety track mode. And to enable that, I'm just gonna hold on the safety button for three seconds. And now you see we have two tracks. We have a normal or the in track and we have a safety or this S track here on the right that's coming in negative six decibels lower. And then here on the bottom, you have your 10 step gain, very, very smooth dial with the Comica logo on the bottom. So the receiver has a plus or minus gain button on the side and this goes all the way up to a plus 12 gain if you want to make it louder or it goes all the way down to a negative 12 pad in case you're in a really loud environment and need to reduce your sound coming into your camera. So the receiver is very familiar if you're used to the Comica Boom XD2 Pro series, which is a two transmitter system that has a built in recorder, comes with two lavaliers and everything with that, except this receiver only controls one microphone. You have a volume up and volume down gain, and then your power double serves as a mute button. And on the XD Pro, this was a mode button and then it controls each microphone gain individually, A mic or your B mic. So that's the main difference there. So now my question is, is the VM30 compatible with the Comica Boom XD2 Pro? So I was not able to get the VM30 to connect to this dual system receiver I have on the Boom XD Pro. Although the cool thing is you can actually use a transmitter from the Boom XD2 Pro on this system. So I'll just power on this transmitter, hold the pairing button for three seconds, and then we're going to turn off the microphone that we already have paired. And we should be connected right away. There we go. So boom, we're automatically connected. So that quick, you could jump from your shotgun microphone to a lavalier with this receiver. Now, can you use this Comica VM30 like a regular shotgun microphone on the Sony FX3? And the answer is yes, but with a caveat. So just like every other microphone on the Sony FX3 handle, you do have to use one of these rubber spacers and then I have a little bit of gaff tape on it just to give it a little bit more firmness and make it a little thicker. But the VM30 is just a little bit thicker than a traditional shotgun microphone so you may not need as quite a big of a spacer. Man, it feels great when the sun goes down, but another cool feature of this microphone is you're able to enable a safety track so your right channel comes in negative six decibels lower. Like see in this example here where we're talking, we have the wind blowing and I'm a little bit too loud and I have the gain on the microphone turned up too high. So my left channel is actually peaking and sounds like this. So you see in this example here where I have my camera gain up 
way too high and then you can see up top there where my left channel is peaking so you see in this example here where I have my camera gain up way too high and then you can see up top there where my left channel is peaking so that's where a safety channel comes in handy because you're able to just use the right channel when you go back into your editing software and you have that nice clean audio that's not peaking so you just go into adobe premiere and use the effect fill left channel with right and then you have clean audio that's not peaking. So just a little cool tool that you have on the microphone and that works in wired mode and wireless mode. All right, as nice as it is out here, if you know Florida, there are mosquitoes so big they could carry my dog away once the sun goes down. So let's go ahead and go back inside. So this microphone is lightweight enough to fly on the gimbal, which I've been doing quite a bit lately but also saved me in a pinch where I was going into a reception to do speeches where there was no microphone system and no time to really lavalier up each person speaking. So I just put the receiver on top of the camera and just handed off the VM30 as the best man was going up to give his speech. So I'll let you hear just a quick little snippet. So I'm glad you guys uh, found each other. I, I hope Allah blesses you in every adventure that you have. And that would be much better than having the microphone on top of the camera from across the room. The wireless mode is supposed to reach 328 feet unobstructed. So we're going to test that out here using a distance meter on the phone, which I've predetermined, which is 25 feet in between each of these markers on the ground. And then I have the VM30 facing a Bluetooth speaker with music playing. And I'm going to take the receiver with me on the camera with some headphones and head down the path. We're just gonna keep going backwards. I have the receiver connected to the mic jack in the camera so you can only hear the music. Here at 100 feet, we have our very first dropout. And then we're gonna continue down the path a little bit farther. So I'm just showing you that the path is unobstructed here. And by the way, the music that we're listening to here is copyright free music I got from audio.com. This video is not sponsored, but I've been using their website to get all of my music and sound effects for quite some time now. I'll have links in the description if you're interested in joining and you can actually make some money yourself by referring their service to other creators. Anyways, so we started getting a lot of dropouts once we get to 200 meters, as you can hear here. So we're just getting little dropouts here and there. And then I took it all the way to 300 feet just to see if we could still get a signal. And as the song is ending here and the camera is not moving, we actually did pick up some sound. So it does work for 300 feet, but this is unobstructed and best case scenario. The Comica VM30 has some really cool preset features in it as well for noise reduction and high frequency boost. So let's go ahead and test that now. This is the sound of the Comica VM30, the world's first wireless shotgun microphone with no presets added. This is the sound of the Comica VM30, the world's first wireless shotgun microphone with 75 hertz of low cut filter applied. This is the sound of the Comica VM30, the world's first wireless shotgun microphone with 150 hertz of low cut filter applied. This is the sound of the Comica VM30, the world's first wireless shotgun microphone with high frequency boost enabled. In a quiet room, it's hard to tell the difference between the low cut filters because there isn't any rumble or anything going on around, but you can really tell how much the high frequency boost added into my voice. Now, if we take these same concepts outside, I have a feeling that our results could be quite opposite. All right, now let's compare some common video microphones and see how they compare against each other. This is the sound of the Comica VM30 in a boom pole configuration, $189 for this kit. So how does this microphone sound? You are now hearing the sound of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This is a $300 microphone that has been a staple in the industry for many years. So 
How does this microphone sound in comparison? This is the sound of the Deity S-Mic 2S, which is a short water resistant shotgun microphone that can only be powered through XLR. The price tag on this sound is $320. So how does this microphone sound? This is the sound of the Rode NTG5. It's one of my favorite microphones, but it does cost around $500 and it can only be powered through an XLR cable. This is the sound of the Deity V-Mic D4, which is a small $99 shotgun microphone. So how does this microphone sound in comparison to the Comica? This Deity V-Mic D4 is the closest thing to the Comica that I could think of because it has a cold shoe built in so you can add your wireless transmitter right here onto the microphone. But Comica took it one step further and built their transmitter inside the actual microphone capsule. So now we're gonna be doing some wind tests here on the boom pole. I have my fan set up and we're gonna be testing out the foam cover and the fur cover as well as the high frequency boost and the low cut filter. So I made this controlled setup here where I have this fan pointing directly at the boom pole right over top of me. So we'll be able to hear the difference in sound and everything will be the same. So. All right, let's get started. We're gonna be staying wireless so we can listen for dropouts and clarity in the microphone. And the cable that you see here is actually an XLR cable that's built into my boom pole. So I just have it bongo tied off to the side for this test. You are now hearing the sound of the VM30 with no foam cover on and no wind. So it sounds really good right now, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and add the wind in. All right, now you're hearing the VM30 with no cover on or anything. I have the fan on high, just blasting directly across this microphone. So I'm sure this doesn't sound too good. So let's go ahead and add on the foam cover. All right, now you're hearing the foam cover. So this should be a lot better already. So how does this sound in comparison? Now this is the sound of the windsock over the foam cover. So this should sound a lot better and this is the ideal setup you would wanna use outdoors in a windy environment. So now let's test out the low cut filters and the high frequency boost and see what those can do for us. This is the sound of 75 Hertz of low cut filter on top of the fur windsock. This is the sound you get from 150 Hertz of low cut filter with the windsock over the microphone. If there was room for improvement, I would say that sometimes the signal gets a little bit spotty, even in close unobstructed range like this test right here. Inside the house right now in safety and I'm out in the rain. So uh, maybe I should come inside now. So if there was something I could add, it would be a backup recording feature inside the transmitter. So who do I think the VM30 is for? Well, if you are in need of a very high quality microphone, the sound of this microphone is actually very good. And for what you get, this whole kit for $189, I would say is a pretty good value considering that there are lesser options for more money. So whenever you think about that, this is a really, really cool invention. Now I'm guessing that seems how this VM30 is the first one to hit the market that every other audio company is going to be coming out with a microphone with a transmitter built in too to compete with this beast so i'm looking forward to seeing what comica comes up with in the future but if you're interested in picking one up i'll have links to everything down in the description below leave me a comment if you have questions about anything on the microphone that i didn't cover shoot for the stars and i'll see you very soon in the next video